Good morning. It's Ron Brown with Silvercon Computer and Technology Club. The title of today's presentation is It's Only a Chromebook. Today's demo will be done with my Chromebook Samsung Plus. The goal of this presentation is to show you some time-saving key commands To demonstrate a new feature in Chrome, you're able now in the Chrome Operating System 77 is to use Google Assistant. I'm going to show you how virtual desktops work. And at the end of the presentation, a wow factor. You're going to go, wow, this is pretty impressive. So let's get on with the show. There are three ways to move between tabs in your browser. You can use a mouse to do a click and move to the second browser, or you can use the control key plus a number. So if you wanted to see the second tab, you could use control number two. This would allow you to keep your fingers on the keyboard while you were typing. Or you can do a three finger swipe. In this demo, you'll see my Chromebook. I have my uh, arrow at the top and I'm on Amazon. I'm now going to click on the East Valley Computer Club or I will come to our home page. And this is by clicking the tabs at the top of your screen in your Chrome browser. Now, you can also move between tabs by control one, two, or three. So you'll see I have control one, I'm in Amazon, control two, I'm in the East Valley, and then control three, I am at our home page. Now you also can use three fingers on your keyboard, or trackpad, sorry, to move left or right. So in summary, there are three ways to move between tabs in your browser. You can use a mouse, you can use the control key plus number, or you can do a three finger swipe to the left or right. If you want to take a screenshot of your um, Chromebook's screen, you can use the key command control plus the overview or multitasking key. I have taken a picture of the key and outlined it in red on the left side of your screen. If you want to take a specific area of the screen, you can use control shift and the overview or multitasking key. And this will do a capture of the region that you want to take of your screen. A new feature just added with the Chrome Operating System 77 is the Google Assistant. So you can just say the magic word and your you know what will come up and you'll be able to uh, ask any questions you want as you have on your Google phone. It is possible to split the screen on your Chromebook so that you can have two tasks running at the same time. To do this, you can use your control plus the square box you'll see outlined in red. If you want the pane to be on the left side, you would hit control left square box. And if you wanted to have it on the right side, you would hit control square box on the right. Let's see how this will work now. This is a um, picture. We're now coming into the files menu. And I'm going to want the files menu on the left side of the screen. Oh, this is actually, sorry, the docs menu. And I'm going to want it on the left side of the screen. So I'm going to hit control and the left button. Now this is the news feed that I want on the right side of the screen. And I would hit control 
<coughs> the white box for the right side. And now we have two applications open in the same screen. And again, to split the screen, it's control square box left or square box right. Now, in the operating system 77, you now have the ability to have virtual desks. Let me explain what that is. When you go to your overview button and you look at the top right hand corner of your screen, you'll see a icon saying new desk. Let me explain how this works. This is the screen in which we have the um, two applications opened as I just described. We now are going into the overview more mode and you will see at the top right hand corner you will see a new desk top. I'm going to click on this and that is going to bring up and we're going to make a new desktop. We have the original one that we have which is here but we are going to make a new desktop. We can actually make four desktops in a Chromebook. So let's take this is our first desktop that we've made on the left side, you'll see Google Docs. On the right side, you'll see a web page on technology. On screen two, I'm going to put in Google Photos. And for screen three, now this is where I've made a mistake and I've chosen the PowerPoint online and it chose the desk one because that's where Chrome was. I wanted to add the PowerPoint app to screen three. And then to desktop four, we're going to add Firefox. So when we come back to the overview mode here, you'll see desktop one. We have, again, I'll have to get PowerPoint off of there. We have our original split screen, which we can now work in our documents and we can view our technology reports. We have Google Docs in two and in screen three, we have PowerPoint and in screen four, we have Firefox running. Now, how to switch between virtual desks. The first way to switch between virtual desks on the left hand side is simply to use the overview key and that will bring up your four desktops. However, you can simply select the application that you're using and it will take you to that desktop. Let me explain this now in the next slide. Why would you use a virtual desktop when you can click through the tabs? In other words, if you have all those applications open, you could simply open them in a tab and switch between the tabs. Well, the reason would be is you can have multiple apps open in the same window and that will give you more efficient workspace. Let me show you how this would work. I've now taken and I've made some desktops with multiple windows open. So this is our first. You'll see desktop one, desktop two, desktop three and desktop four. Let's look at desktop one. Again, it has Google Docs on the left side 
and it has my news application on the right. We're going to take desktop 2, which of course has my Google Photos in it. We're going to take desktop 3, and I'm doing some work here, and I'm using PowerPoint to create some presentations, but I want to load some files, so I have my files app open along with my PowerPoint. And in desktop 4, I want to use Firefox for some news clips. And then I've got a word processor open here called LibreOffice. This is their word writer, and it is open in the second pane. So I can switch between these different desktops simply by clicking on the desktop and it will open it up. But if you come down here and you look at the first desktop, is a dock. So when I click the docs app, it brings up the first desktop because the docs app is in the first desktop. I don't have to go to the overview. Now in the second desktop, all I have to do is click on the Google Photos. The third desktop, I just click on the PowerPoint and it will bring up the third desktop. And for the Firefox, I just bring that up and that's desktop four. Please note desktop four. There's something special about it we'll talk about. So here are the four desktops that, uh, that, that we've been demonstrating. What I wanted to talk about was in desktop four is desktop four, as you'll see uh, on the top, was actually running in Linux, Linux. In your Chromebook, if you go to settings, you'll see there is a settings for Linux beta. And if you turn this on, you will actually be able to, it will install Ubuntu and you will actually have a fully functioning Linux machine. You can run both operating systems at the same time and you can run Linux applications as well as Chromium applications. In desktop 4, I was running a Linux. Both applications were Linux applications. They were um, Firefox was run in Linux and LibreOffice was run in Linux. So the demo today showed you multitasking with a screen, split screens. I showed you Google Assistant. I showed you the four virtual desktops you can have. We ran two operating systems at the same time, Chromium and Linux. We had applications from three different operating systems, Windows, Chromium, and Linux. So if someone says it's only a Chromebook, please show them this video. Have fun with your Chromebook. It's Ron Brown from Computer. Silvercom Computer and Technology Club.